Bloom News Brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. In a recent interview with I Ask No One, Billy Idol guitarist Steve Stevens weighed in on Metallica drummer Lars Ulrich's drumming abilities. Sometimes people say, well, Lars Ulrich is not the most technical drummer, but the thing is, great drummers write great parts. There's two ways to go. You can concentrate on the technical ability and keep a straight beat or whatever, but then there's a guy like Lars who really, obviously, is a co-writer. He's really listening to what James Hetfield is doing, and he's translating those guitar parts to the drums and orchestrating them. And I think that's what makes a great drummer, because some of those drum parts they're really inventive. I happen to think he's a great drummer for that reason. And he's also a band leader that brought that band to incredible heights. So man, I've got nothing but respect for those guys. Every one of them. Click the link in the description to listen to the entire interview. Exodus Slayer guitarist Gary Holt was recently interviewed by the Talk To Me podcast. During the interview, Holt talked about Exodus's drug use throughout their career. Oh God, meth. When four-fifths of your band, Jack Gibson being the only guy who wasn't, was spun out of their minds, it kind of tends to put up some roadblocks to success. I laugh about it now. Any former tweaker will tell you this. There are some fun moments, some fun shit that happens when you're sleep deprived, but I'm also glad that it's behind me. I never want to go back there. Back in the early days, we'd get a little bag of meth and the whole band would function on it all night. It was in the 90s when we reunited with Paul Bay off and that's when we got really fucking spun and started smoking meth and shit got bad then it fucking sucked but i laid that cross to bear on the ground a long time ago 2002 hell i'm 90 days sober today i'm no fun at all anymore no more meth no more alcohol i do smoke a little bit of weed nowadays it's only an occasional thing for me though my wife's a full-on stoner and occasionally i'll join her like hand me that click the link in the description to listen to the entire interview in a statement made to metal hammer ozzy osbourne weighed in on the effect of the pandemic on his own family my wife had the virus my daughter had the virus and I never got it. Being a devil worshiper does have its good points. Woe to you. More news at bullandbloom.com. Bull and bloom.